What's up everybody, it's George Gabriel and this is part five of You Are Using Logic All Wrong. In part four, we talked all about not just going from tracks to stereo out, but instead collecting like kind instruments and buses so we can keep our drums and percussion and guitars all in the same buses, EQ them together with like kind sounds and create more of that record sounding thing. In part five, we're going to look at how you can improve your workflow by using key commands and some special tools and some shortcuts that's going to make your whole life a lot easier when we're writing music. That is the name of the game, improving your workflow. Let's check this out. So let's move on to the next thing that you're doing wrong in Logic, and that is using key commands or not using key commands. There's a lot of really cool key commands in Logic that will improve your workflow exponentially, like trimming audio or capturing uh, MIDI, lots of different things. Also, there's a lots of different tool sets that you're using that if you have the proper tool set set ahead of time, then you can improve your workflow. Let's take a quick look at that and our little track here. The first thing that you can see as far as a tool set is concerned is the secondary tool. What's a secondary tool? That means when you hit the command button, it turns into that secondary tool. Now I have mine defaulted as scissors because I like to cut things up so if I wanted to cut the end of this drum thing off here, what I'm going to do is I'll just use my scissor tools and I will shorten those. And that way I can loop this stuff. Uh, another thing that I don't use is loops. I actually just option click them. I don't like the fact that you have to turn a loop on or off to stop it. So now I could just take this and I could loop this forever just by option clicking it. I never ever use loops. Now, you can see my secondary tool is the scissor. That's what enabled me to shut this down and cut this up the way that I want to. In fact, uh, if I want to, you know, stop uh, halfway through on the keyboard thing and just come into bar three, I will cut this here, get rid of that. Bring in the keys. So those are secondary tools, but there's lots of little tools that you can use and even uh, like how you quantize things, uh, how you um, drag things. I, I have no overlap. Actually, I have overlap. I don't have no overlap. If you have no overlap, then what happens is it kind of kills that little region there. I don't want to kill the region. I like that region. That region's my friend. So I always do overlap. So these little tiny settings, if you know what they do, they'll get you where you need to go. Settings up top, like what am I viewing up here? I don't like this to be too cluttered up of my top menu. So you can set all your settings by customizing this. So in here, you can take the things you want out, like um, quick help. Like I want the inspector for sure. Definitely not the library uh, toolbar. I don't like smart controls. Don't use them. Uh, mixer editors. Uh, I don't like uh, the notepad or apple loops so i have just list editors and browsers but you can go through all these things and modify them to get your tool sets the way that you want to and then there's the key commands if you go to logic and you go to key commands there are a whole bunch of key commands that you can deal with that you have no idea how are going to be helpful i encourage you to go into the key commands and actually see what's available and see what it does and see how you can improve your workflow. One of my key commands that I have is just to scissor something. Let's see if I have that. Scissors tool. And what you can do is you actually take the scissor tool. And for me, the scissor tool is control option command Z. There we go. So now if I want to go into this and cut this, instead of having to use my secondary tool, I can just go and there we go. I just use that key command to my advantage. So these things are very helpful. There is one key command that I think is the most helpful, and that is something I'm not going to show you in this video because I have a whole other video on why that's so helpful. That is the greatest key command that Logic has. But you will notice that anytime I'm doing anything, I never go into record when it deals with MIDI. There are key commands that are going to vastly improve your workflow, so you should check those out. And check out my other videos on how these key commands will change your life. 
That's it for part five of You Are Using Logic All Wrong. Check out part six where I go over the sample rate and see what you could be doing wrong using the wrong sample rate and what the right sample rate is for your session. As always, like these videos and click the bell icon to subscribe and I'll see you next time on George Gabriel Music.